Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to animate break and shatter effect in After Effects. So I have illustrated this design in Illustrator using the basic shapes and distorted some of the shapes using Pen tool and then separated the layers. So for the layer separation, I have kept the cracked portion in a separate layer so that we can animate it separately. Now let's jump into After Effects. In After Effects, we have the ball hitting this vase animation. For the vase, we have separate layer for the cracks, for the top crack, even for the bottom portion as well. For the shattered part, we have a separate layer. For the broken part, we also have a separate shape layer, even for the lower bottom part. And another separate layer for the whole complete body of the vase. Now, we are going to move the anchor point of this full vase body to at its corner somewhere around here. After that, we are going to select the broken part, the lower and the upper part, parent it with this full body and the cracked portion for the lower broken part, we are going to parent it with the lower portion. For the top part, we are going to parent it with the top portion. For the shatter, we are going to parent it with the full body. So at the point where the ball hits the vase, we are going to rotate the vase. So put a keyframe on rotation. Let's jump on to around 12 frames. So currently we are in 30 FPS and we are going to give it minus 90 degree of rotation. And you can see instantly that it is crossing the ground. So we basically have to fix the position as well. But before that, let's fix the motion graph. Press F9 to convert the keyframes into EZs. And then we're going to decrease the ease at this point and slightly decrease at this point. I think we can speed it up a bit. So now we are going to put keyframes for position as well. So we are going to use the ruler for position. So at this point we are going to bring it up and so this corner is going to touch the ground somewhat like this. Well we can actually rotate it even more. And in between we need to add few more keyframes for position. So here is the result. So after the hit, the vase is going to get broken into two parts and few parts are going to get shattered. So for this full body, I'm going to split this layer from here, hide the layer. And then for the lower broken part, we can move the anchor point and put it over here. So put keyframe on position and rotation. And then at the last frame, we're going to change this pose a bit, somewhat like this. Now again, we can copy the graph so I'm basically using is copy for this and paste it in this in this rotation. So we're going to fix the position so it shouldn't cross the ground. Okay, now you can get a small idea of the break, broken portion. Here it hits and it gets break. Now again, we need to add few more secondary animation for this broken part. So for that, let's jump onto next two frames and slightly rotate even more in this side. And copy and paste the initial keyframe. And let's check out the animation. Here you can see some overshoot of this action as well. 
we can slightly exaggerate a bit we can rotate it even more and after that we are going to add a null layer for this layer go to null add a null layer move the anchor point at this point put it in this corner then parent this simply split this layer and parent it with this layer slightly rotate over here as well yeah here you can see some secondary animation happening with a few corner rotation we are going to do the same for the upper portion as well So for the upper portion, I have added some extra rotation at this point so that it actually disconnects somewhere around here. Other than that, I'm going to add a null layer for this upper portion as well. After it falls, we are going to add some secondary rotation. Now here you can see that it is not touching the ground completely we can fix it first so let's put the anchor point at this point of this null layer and we are going to put this null layer Okay, now after it touches the ground, we are going to split this layer and parent it with this null layer. And we are going to rotate slightly in with this corner. So here are the broken parts for the cracks. We are just going to animate the path. So the one key pose would be the open crack and the other one would be the close crack. For the crack, we have to make the motion graph somewhat like this starting at a very high speed and ending with a is so here is the result now it's time to shatter so for the shatter effect we are going to mask out this layer and duplicate multiple times to cover up the whole shape so let's pick the paint tool and we are going to add a mask shape here somewhat like this again duplicate this layer once again and we are going to change the mask path somewhat like this and we are going to repeat this process
So after that, from the point the ball is hitting the vase, we are going to add position and rotation and animate it accordingly. We are going to spread out the particles. So to make it more convenient, we are going to hide out rest of the layers. Okay, so at this point, we are going to spread out the layers somewhat like this. We are going to even use the rotation. And at the end for the motion graph you need to decrease the ease at the start with increasing the ease at the end to give a very fast start. So like this you can animate shatter effect in After Effects. And after that I have also added few more elements for this shatter animation such as the water falling animation. So if you want to learn how to animate liquid in After Effects, then you can check out my other lessons. You can click on the I button on the top right corner to check out how to animate liquid in After Effects. I'm also going to provide the link in the description. You can check out from there as well. So that is it for this video. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.